Hello and welcome to this video which has been recorded at full HD resolution. My name is Barry Beckham. Pictures to XE has many tools and techniques. They're all nice to know but they're not vital for the basic process of making a slideshow. Quite often in fact a basic show can have more appeal, charm and impact than a complex one. We often tend to overreach just a little bit, don't we? I do have a large range of videos to take you through the more complex and creative techniques with pictures to XE, and you will find them on my website above. But maybe for later. Even with a basic slideshow, there are one or two issues that are important enough to raise right now before we've done anything at all. A few minutes with this video does have the potential to save you hours of wasted time and set you up well for creating audiovisual into the future. We need to start the process by creating a project folder on our computer. Best practice suggests that we name it with the slideshow we intend to make. What we need to do is to identify the images we want to use in our slideshow and then we need to copy all of those images to the project folder. Now don't worry about gathering too many images. These images will be copies only. I emphasize the word copies so that we can delete them from this folder at any time with confidence. If necessary, it's not uncommon to want to add images once the project is underway. In that case, just copy them into this project folder and use them from here and nowhere else. Now you're almost certain to require some MP3 music for your slideshow, but you may also require sound effects and, given a bit of time, maybe even commentary too. These all need to be copied into the same project folder and used in your slideshow only from this folder. Now we're not going to be too concerned about video clips at this stage, but if you do intend to use a video, that also needs to be copied into your project folder. As we go through the creation of a slideshow, we actually create two files. The first of these is our project file. It's a record of your work in progress. Best practice suggests again that this should be labelled the same as your slideshow title. This project file is vital because it records all of the images you used and the order you wish them to appear in your slideshow. The project file also includes all of your slideshow settings too the transitions and slide duration times. It also remembers what music was used and any volume or editing that you've done to that music and the same with video. The project file also needs to be saved into our project folder. Later on when the slideshow is complete and we've tested it once or twice then we can publish the show. But even when we do that, it's again good practice to publish the show into the same folder we've been using all along. Now just think what we now have inside this project folder. We have absolutely everything we're going to need to be able to edit the slideshow, change it, improve it, or even remake it. And if you think you won't want to do this, well, think again because you almost certainly will. We also have a project folder that we can easily back up off the computer if necessary. So we can be confident that everything we used in our slideshow is safely stored. If you work like this in all your projects, you will sidestep most of the pitfalls that users fall into while creating audio visual. So this was just a five minute video 
but five minutes well spent. It's always best to start with the basics and move on from there.